Now listen to this. Allah Azza wa Jal in this surah, before this discussion actually, Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned something very, very heavy. And I, I want to share this ayah with you. I'm skipping around inshallah towards the end of the same surah. Allah Azza wa Jal says, لَتُبْلَوُنَّ فِي أَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ You are all for sure, no doubt about it, going to be tested. Tested in what? In your monies and in your own selves. Your money will be in danger and your selves will be in danger. You will feel threatened. You will feel loss of people. You will feel, you'll feel these trials financially and socially. You want to put it in modern terms, financially and socially. فِي أَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ Then what does he say? وَلَا تَسْمَعُنَّ مِنَ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ وَمِنَ الَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا أَذًا كَثِيرًا You will no doubt about it, definitely, I swear to it, you will definitely hear from those who were given the book much before you. Who is he talking about? The Jews and the Christians, the Israelites and the Christians. He's talking about them. Then he says, وَالَّذِينَ أَشْرَكُوا And those who have committed shirk, he's talking about the Quraysh. He says, no doubt about it, you will get to hear from them, أَذَنْ كَثِيرًا A lot of painful words. You'll get to hear a lot of painful things from them. Is that happening today? Are we hearing painful things from those communities? Are they saying horrendous things about the Book of Allah, about the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about the Muslims in general? They'll come out and say, all Muslims are terrorists. And the ones that aren't terrorists that are talking about, no, this is a hijacking of our religion, we don't believe in these crimes against innocent people, etc., etc. Oh, these people are just lying to protect the terrorists. They'll come out and say that. They'll say horrendous things about Allah's Messenger wasallam. And we have to hear these things. But now Allah says, now that you'll get to hear them, what should be your reaction? What should be your reaction? And this is where we have to be harsh on ourselves. And this is the last part of my khutbah. Where we have to be tough on our own selves. Muslims nowadays, we have become nothing but emotional puppets. They know exactly how we're going to respond. And they do things to us, so we, do, we work exactly according to plan. Come out and burn a couple of cars in the Muslim world, or protest and yell and scream. We don't act in a calm, collected, calculated fashion. Which is the way of Allah's Messenger wasallam. When you hear empty rhetoric like this, these attacks against Islam, what should you do? Allah Himself says, وَإِن تَصْبِرُوا وَتَتَّقُوا فَإِنَّ ذَلِكَ مِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ مِنْ عَزْمِ الْأُمُورِ And if you're able to be patient, patience actually means controlling your emotions, holding yourself back, and continuing to fear Allah, وَتَتَّقُوا Then this is from the most noble of deeds you can do. Our patience speaks volumes. Our patience speaks volumes. Our yelling and screaming is more detrimental. But after we are patient, what are we supposed to do in addition? This is the last part of my khutbah. We are supposed to be patient. We are supposed to continue to have taqwa with Allah Azza wa Jal. But, you know, we can talk about how important it is for our masajid to represent the teachings of this deen and to educate our local communities. It is absolutely a critical job of every masjid, of not, not, if not every Muslim, to at least represent the teachings of their deen in their vicinity, among their co-workers, with their business partners, with their friends, with their neighbors. And if you can't do that as an individual, the masjid is supposed to help you. We have a da'wah program here in the masjid. That's its purpose, to help educate people, your co-workers, your friends, your neighbors, about the teachings of this deen. About removing the fear that shaitan has put inside of them, of this religion. This is not new. Shaitan did this at the time of the Messenger too, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, the Quraysh would go around saying, don't listen to this man, you'll go crazy if you listen to him. If you listen to him, your family will get destroyed, he'll do magic on you. It's like a virus, it'll affect you. They would instill fear into the population. So don't blame the population, that's just shaitan doing his job. We just have to do a better job, that's all. And we, just, we have to do our job, we have to clarify this deen. يا أيها الذين آمنوا أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم